Yeah, she would ask me questions about people that she would see with signs that said that, you know, they needed food, they were hungry. And she asked me why people live that way. And I explained that there are people who are out of work, there are people who don't have jobs, there are people who have had bad things happen in their lives. So Phoebe said, well, we recycle cans at home. Why can't I do that for this food bank? And she said, let's collect cans. And I said, cans? I just like what are you talking about? She was just adamant about it. You know, she appears to be shy, but she's not. She's very assertive. Yeah. And she knew that you'd get five cents on a can because her dad would take Phoebe and her sister Jordan to um, recycle. And so Phoebe did her letter, which most of you have read, and we sent it out to 150 people. And um, she's written 55 thank you notes. That's how many people responded to it, so that's pretty great. And then it kind of just kept developing from there. The money was coming in, and matchings were being made by folks, um, and cans were still coming in by the thousands. You raised a lot of money, didn't you? Yes. A lot of money. So she would count her money each week, and you know, it started out at fifteen, twenty dollars, and then it was a hundred dollars, and then it was, and her goal was a thousand dollars, which I thought was unrealistic. I thought she'd make about seven hundred dollars. I've never seen so many cans in my life. I mean, they just, and there are people who brought cans who. Didn't, we don't know. They just heard about the project. They would leave them under the door. Some people left this cash in the mailbox. I thought, whoa, this is great. I'm opening up my mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> the mailbox. Some people put a little note and they said, this is for Phoebe. It's a project, so we should all be very proud of it. It's just the little things. You know, each little can is a nickel, and every little thing adds up. So um, I'm glad that Phoebe sees the value of that. You know, no, nothing is too small, and I think she, all you had to do was ask people, and they were just so willing to give. So, if all it takes is asking, then. And some people <laughs> didn't even know Kathleen Albright, and they gave her money. That's right. so they can all hear you. $3,736.40. I think it's awesome. I really do. I, I think, you know, from my kid, I've, I've watched her really enjoy doing this, and I think she's actually began to grasp the idea of just how much she is benefiting, or at least other people are benefiting from what, her, what she's done. And I think that's very important to her as much as a five-year-old can realize that I think she has. It's just, she never once complained about, she missed playtime a few times to catch up on her sending out the letters, putting the stamps on. She did a lot of the work. Yes, I cheered her on. Yes, we helped her. Her, her mother came one day and helped her put stuff in envelopes. But she did the work and without any complaints because she really understands that San Francisco has a lot of hungry people. I mean, she talks about it a lot. When she sees people on the street, you know, begging for money, and she, you know, she says, "Oh, they should go to the food bank." So, and the food bank need, needed her. Can you tell them what it's for. This is for you to put the money in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it, it, the outcome is wonderful. It's not only are we going to be able to turn it into food for low-income people, but it's an inspiration for us. You figured out a way uh, to help in, a, in an oversized way. There are not many, not many people your age. Not many people of any age that have made this sort of contribution to help other people. So on behalf of all those people that are going to have meals on their table because of you, thank you very much. 17,800 meals. You know how it's going to feed how many meals? Um, 17,000 and something. 
Does she understand it the way you and I do? No, but she understood that something needed to do. She could do something. Um, for the San Francisco Food Bank to feed hungry people. I think they're looking at that you don't have to, it doesn't have to be big. And um, we talked about it in terms of Barack Obama. We had a lot of kids here who were supporting him and his families and how it was the little money and the little donations. So when people came to the door with one or two cans, people we didn't even know, she would say, oh, that's five cents, that's 10 cents, that's 15 cents. She understood that you have something small and you just make it bigger, bigger, bigger. It doesn't have to start out if you work towards it. I learned something from her. And when you learn something from children, it's great. We're very proud of her. Next, she did a lot of the work. Next week, um, I'm going to get a trophy. People ask me why I care. These children are all our tomorrows. They're my tomorrows, they're your tomorrows, they're your tomorrows. I have adult children. They're the people who are going to make a difference in our worlds as we get older. So I, I want to love them, nurture them, teach them. That's it. Thank you. We salute you. Thank you. Yes. So much. I love what I do. We can tell. Yes. Yeah. You're amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but when they go, we gotta get rid of this. Yeah.